Whoa, what's that? Today's video is on D Way Sun and Gender. Now, if you new here, what the fuck we do here is read, listen, watch, and we block talk, break that shit down. And if you sensitive, you should probably fucking leave now, goddammit. And I know what some of y'all thinking, oh, he about to say something homophobic, goddammit. Well, I'm not. I don't have a phobia of ho a phobia of homosexuals, goddammit. I ain't gonna scream and run and frightened and shit. I'm not afraid to interact with homosexuals homosexuals before you use that as an excuse to not listen to my irrefutable fucking logic you are witnessing the rebel network let's get to the first clip god damn it because they're afraid they will be judged um i would say you know not even thinking about that you know just be true to yourself because are you really even like it's what's the point of being on this earth if you're going to try to be someone you're not it's like you're not even living as yourself which is like the dumbest concept to me it's just like you know be true and care what like the stereotypical way of like being you is because they're afraid they will be you are witnessing the Rebel Network. Now, y'all know how we do. We gonna block, talk, break down everything the young man just said. But I find it awfully strange that every time we see this young man, it's about sexuality. But anyway, he said they're afraid to be judged. I say, don't think about that. Just be true to yourself. Let's apply that to murderers, y'all. Let's say I just want to go outside and just murder people because I'm being true to myself. I like to murder. There's people to be murdered. I'm a murder the motherfuckers. Or let's apply that to cannibals, goddammit. Or I like to eat humans. There's humans walking around. I'm going to chop their fucking leg off, goddammit. Because if I go to a meat market, I'm not being true to my goddamn self. Or let's apply that to the most sadistic criminals in the world, pedophiles, goddammit. Oh, they being true to themselves. They want to touch fucking kids because because if they touch an adult, they wouldn't be being true to themselves. It would be fucked up. Oh, here I am messing with this goddamn adult when I really want a motherfucking kid. You understand that, kid? You understand what the hell you saying when you apply the logic? But what else he went on to say, y'all? It's like not even living as yourself, goddammit. It's like, what's the point of being on this earth if you're being someone you're not? Because being someone who you think you should be is detrimental to others, goddammit. If you think you should be a murderer, that's detrimental to other human beings on the earth. Or if you think you should touch kids, that's, detriment that's detrimental to other kids on the planet earth, goddammit. That's why. You understand that? You understand that fucking kid since your daddy can't say that bullshit to you, goddammit? He said that's the dumbest concept on earth. So he don't even want to hear nobody else's logic on it. It's the dumbest concept on earth. Don't care about, he said, don't care about being the stereotypical way of being you. That means, oh, I was born with a penis, so the stereotypical thing is to stick it inside of a vagina. That's the stereotypical thing. You know, that's what you do. That's what we do to reproduce. He's saying, oh, just because it's there, you don't have to use it for what the fuck its purpose is. Get the fuck out of here. You understand that, people? And don't think I'm attacking some little kid because nine out of ten ain't no motherfucking kid watching my shit anyway, goddammit. But see what his logic is, people? Or understand this. You have to control form y'all let's say i go to a fucking interview and shit i'm just being true to myself i'ma wear uh jeans and comic book shirts i'ma i'ma go to that interview i'ma be myself oh what's hell you dig i need a job you heard me y'all how y'all i was looking you gonna give me about 600 you know every two weeks at least god damn it oh can i get friday and saturday y'all oh i'm being true to myself that's how i talk to everybody that's the way i am god damn it. i'm being true to me you think them people gonna give me a motherfucking job? No, they gonna say, sir, the door is that fucking way. Uh, sir, get the fuck out of my office. What in the hell is wrong with you? That's what the fuck they gonna do, goddammit. But if I go in there conforming and shit, because I need to pay my bills, because I have kids, I'm gonna have to suck it up and I'm gonna put on a suit, brush the hair, shave my facial hair and shit and go... Uh, my name is Brian Winfield. I have experience in military, security, and bullshit of that sort. You understand me? Because I need to feed my fucking family. I have to conform, goddammit, at some 
point because be if I'm being myself, that's detrimental to my kids. I can't uh, afford the rent, goddamn it. That's detrimental to them. Oh, your wife gonna leave you. That's detrimental to you paying for your car, your rent, your lights and shit. You a deadbeat. That's detrimental to fucking living, being me, because I want to be my true self and walk in there and say, dog, give me a, give me a job, you heard me? You understand what's going on around here. Y'all get that bullshit? You get that? So a cannibal, a, a cannibal and shit, he ain't gonna go to a meat market and shit because it's detrimental to him. Man, I can't go buy no damn pigs. I can't be eating no you animals. Nigga, what animal? That's detrimental to how I live. I'm not being my true self. I want to eat somebody's fucking leg or they fucking thighs. What kind of bullshit is that, people? But let's get to d Wade question to his son after that. Let's get to his question. You are witnessing the Rebel Network, goddammit. Even when people are being mean, and even when when people are getting hurt uh, by because they're trying to be themselves, and even even through that, you still want people to make sure that they live their truth. Yeah, I think I'm. I know it can get tough, definitely. Yeah, but I think you push through and you be the best you. Even when people are being mean, and even when when people are getting hurt uh, by because they're trying to be themselves, and even even through that you still want people to make sure that they live their truth yeah i think i'm i know it can get tough definitely yeah, I, but i think you push through and you be the best you even when people are being mean and even when you are witnessing the rebel network i had to play it twice just so y'all could hear just get his question after what his son just said because he should have had a response to what he said you dig I, I ain't gonna tell him how to raise his kid, but I would have had a response, then another question, and it for damn sure wouldn't have been that fucking question. But look what he said. Even when people are being mean, even when people are being hurt because they are trying to be themselves, and he said, I know it's gonna be, be tough, but you just gotta push through. Y'all heard that? Let's think about this. Let's apply that to uh, race, uh, you know, because uh, homosexuals seem to always apply blacks to their struggle like they going to going through the same struggle as us. So let's apply that to race. God damn it. When people was being mean and sicking German shepherds on people just for trying to eat at a fucking restaurant with them. Oh, they was being so fucking mean. Didn't that shit hurt just for trying to be themselves? God damn it. Hanging people for being themselves for being born black just like you are born a male you understand me just for being a fucking self and you know what yo after you said that you say you gotta just push through god damn it and that's what btn is about god damn it being black and pushing through no matter fucking what god damn it and responding to bullshit like this y'all bullshit like this now let's get to the next fucking clip where y'all gonna hear a little bit more of his little spill god damn it Cause I don't know who putting this in this fucking little boy of mine. He sound like a valley girl of sorts. What kind of bullshit is that? Let's listen to the next one, y'all. Recently, like it's become a more accepting, even though there's you know obviously a lot of people out there who still are really upset, you know, more in the like back in their days way of mind. But I think even through hard times, just you gotta you gotta just push through. I mean, like it's worth it. I feel like it's very worth it when you reach that point of recently like it's become a more accepting even you are witnessing the rubble network he said it's become more accepting and he right they can marry who they want you got all the bills in your favor, all the laws in your favor. You could get a grant and all kind of shit. But you know what's not accepting? Being black and walking out on the motherfucking street with a hoodie on. Or uh, being a big black man just walking out the street, walking down the street with a fucking cigarette and getting choked to death in New York. God damn it. Or walking home to go see your fucking family and being shot in the back about six times by a police officer. You know what's not accepting? Being black around this motherfucker. So yeah, you is. You pushing through, goddammit, and y'all being accepted. But I don't see your fucking daddy putting you on the fucking camera and saying, son, what do you think about Trayvon Martin, son? What do you think about reparations, son? What do you think about the state of blacks in America today, son? No, but every fucking time we see him, it's about gender. And you just gotta push through and all of that bullshit. You understand what I'm saying, y'all? You understand what the fuck I'm saying? 
saying? But the end, the last clip of what the fuck he said, this shit is frightening to me, goddammit. And this is what a lot of people need to examine, because this shit is frightening, which y'all about to listen to, goddammit. Listen to this last clip by this little dude. Fucking shame. I'm feeling free. Yeah. I'm feeling like you. Yeah. Feeling like you don't have to hide. Like you mean you can look in the mirror and like say like hi to yourself. Like mm. nice to meet you. Mm. Instead of like mm, I don't really know who I am. Mm. It's like a full identity crisis. Mm. Yeah. I'm feeling free. Yeah. I'm feeling like you. Yeah. Feeling like you don't have to hide. Like you mean you can look in the mirror and like say like hi to yourself. Like mm. nice to meet you. Mm. Instead of like mm, I don't really know who I am. Mm. It's like a full identity crisis. Mm. Yeah. You are witnessing a rebel network. Y'all heard that? Did you fucking hear that, bro? That little boy said, he isn't like now you can look in the mirror and shit and say hi, you dig? So he couldn't do that at first, like? He couldn't say hi to himself when looking in the mirror. It seemed like he got a deeper problem than fucking gender. He couldn't look in the mirror and say hi, nice to meet you, without knowing if he was male or female, without knowing if he was attracted to male or female. He couldn't look in the mirror and still like himself for his beautiful black fucking skin, goddammit, his beautiful woolly fucking hair, goddammit. He couldn't like himself for that. And y'all think about this. Why the fuck is a 12-year-old going through a sexual identity crisis? Did y'all hear that? That was the most frightening shit about this whole thing. A 12-year-old boy, or 13, I don't give a fuck what it is. He still ain't old enough to be worrying about sexuality so goddamn much, y'all. Why the fuck is he going through a, sec a, a sexual identity crisis? identity crisis y'all my bad y'all know when i get mad i'll fumble up on words but that's how mad i am god damn it why is he thinking about gender that hard y'all what is he going through in his life like that is somebody putting pressure on this young man why the fuck is he thinking about that now y'all as a straight man if my son came to me and my son was straight as well and he like you know what Man, I'm being my true self, pops. Recall me talking about how I'm having sex with all these hoes and like how I love these big ass booties and big ass titties and shit, man. I just love being straight and looking at these hoes on Instagram. You think I'm a, my response to be to, to him is a, oh, you being true to yourself. I'ma say, son, first of all, you ain't old enough to be worrying about all this fucking sex and shit. You need to worry about studying your fucking grades, study your ancestry, study who the fuck you are and what you wanna be, son. Right now ain't the time to be worried about sexuality. And I understand you love these women. Your goddamn it, your daddy love them too, goddamn it. But what I'm focused on is paying these this rent and shit. Focused on getting your shoes and shit. And staying true to your mother and shit like that. That's being focused, son. Right now, you don't need to be worried about sexuality and shit like that. Did he respond like that to his motherfucking son? And y'all know my logic is irrefutable, goddamn it. Did he respond like that? Fuck. Fuck no, y'all. Fuck no. What kind of shit is that? Every time we see your son, it's about gender. Never saw his son speak on anything else, y'all. Any fucking thing else, y'all. So what? Like what? What? What they trying to get other people to do? Like think about this, cause you gotta think of where they coming from. Goddamn it! They want more children to be sexually conscious. Goddamn it! They want young boys to be watching. Like you know what? His son, you know he likes it, and I'll do it too. And I'm worried. And even if they're not worried about picking a male or female, they still th getting them to think about fucking sex, y'all. At a young age, it's enough they got sponge by running around naked and all of that bullshit. Goddamn it! And y'all see at the end of this video when D Wade put the camera on. His Itself, like oh he told y'all he just went in on y'all god damn it that shit was terrible this the face he fucking made look like he just went in on everybody that's a goddamn shame you a fucking failure to your son you need to straighten up now he ought to be ashamed of his motherfucking self every time he can record his son guess what it's about sex sexuality gender we get it your son is a homosexual God damn it, ain't no, no, we don't care. Like your son said, it's accepting, remember? You can, Obama made it so you could get a married and everything. You got all the rules in your favor. It's easier than being black. You can go get a loan and everything. Go ahead with your bad fucking self, God damn it. Fuck wrong with you, but yet we supposed to be sitting up here and ignoring them pushing this homosexual agenda to our fucking kids. 
the fuck out of here. Y'all hear this bullshit? Yeah, when it's time to speak on race, y'all, where the fuck is D-Wade? Guess what D-Wade gonna say? Oh, I'm here to play basketball. That's not my business, huh? Huh? Remember when Trayvon and all that happened? When he was scared? Of, oh, I'm just here to shut up and dribble. Oh, I'm just here to ba play basketball. You know, I can't be talking about race. No matter where you catch him, man, you know it's the fucking truth. And that don't only apply to him, because I know some of y'all, you're so uh fucking dumb in the mind. You're probably thinking, he hating on D-Way. He hating on his son. He hate black, uh, gay people. No, dumbass. Use your brain and use the fucking logic I just applied to your stupid ass. Just fed to your dumb ass anyway. This goes for rappers, too. When you ask they dumb ass, what about Ferguson? And what ASAP Rocky said, man, I'm a rapper shit. I'll be out here living with white people. I can't respond. I can't relate to none of that. All them actors, Denzel and them, they, oh, uh, no, no questions and shit running from your stupid ass when they come to that. But they quick to tell you, Charles Barkley, my son gay. They quick to tell you about their gay sons and gay this and gay that. They ready to champion that shit. But are they championing being black? You don't fucking see that, do you? You don't see that, do you? Or even Obama. Turned the whole fucking White House a whole rainbow, goddammit. But when you ask him about race, this is his words. To have a black agenda is politically uh illogical, goddammit. He said politically uh unfeasible. Yeah. So I don't quote him wrong for some of y'all, goddammit. He said to have a black agenda is politically unfeasible. But I'm wrong for fucking going in on these clowns every week and exposing them. Y'all understand that? You're not gonna see his son when it's time to be black. You ain't gonna hear from him when it's time to be black. That's because they homosexual first, money first, materialism first, whatever first, capify alpha first, actor first, rapper first, at least first god damn it they not black first around this motherfucker and y'all know whenever i talk about something it's from a black aspect so d way how about you record your son talking about race what it's like to be a fucking black man on a planet earth god damn it you are witnessing a rebel network once again y'all holler at me